Hey there, everybody. Michelle Dittmer of the Canadian Gap Year Association bringing tons of tips to you here on our YouTube channel. If you are looking to take a gap year, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're giving tons of information for free. Check it out. Subscribe so you don't miss anything. Today, I want to give you a heads up about the three most difficult times you are going to experience on your gap year. So your gap year is going to be a roller coaster of emotions and experiences, but there are three times I want to give you a heads up about. Number one is in the spring before your gap year. So the May and June time period, which is coming up soon. Uh, this is a time that can be really challenging because your friends are going to start accepting their universities. So where they're going to go, this is going to become part of the conversation and you want to be part of this conversation. So make sure you have something to talk about instead of just saying, I don't know what I'm doing next year. Try and find something to put in there. Maybe there's a trip you're looking at doing. Maybe there's a cool job you're going to get. Whatever it is, you want to stay engaged in those conversations. So having something on your plan is going to be really, really helpful. Number two, the second time in the year is going to be when all your friends start moving out or into residence or off to school, whatever it might be. The FOMO is going to hit hard. You're going to see your friends making new friends. They are going to be posting really cool stuff on Instagram. And if you are sitting in your basement, it is not going to feel very good. So having something exciting planned in September is a key. This is a hack for you to have a really great gap year. So we have an event coming up in September called Gap Year Fresh Week to help you with that, where you're going to meet people from across the country who are also taking gap years and having the exact same feelings as you. So it's a great place to meet new friends, have really great opportunities, and to kick off your gap year in style. So that's the second time. The third time that can be challenging is those winter months where we're just going to hit a lull when the days are shorter. Maybe you've run out of things that you want to do on your gap year, or maybe you're just feeling out of motivation. So those times can be really challenging. So taking a pause, then putting something exciting in the schedule to shake life up. So if you're in a routine, shake up the routine have an experience and get yourself moving again because in January your year is not half over it's only one third over so you've got two thirds of your gap year to still enjoy so don't let those winter blues get in the way and if there's anything else you need don't hesitate to reach out to CanGap we are here to support you and just all you got to do is subscribe to our channel for more tips like this